Hi, it's Laura at Aquamarine 18. Thanks for stopping by my channel. I am here with the latest installment of 31 Days of Witchcraft hosted by Heather Carter. And today is the prompt for day five. And the question that we have to work with today is, have you had a teacher in the craft? Have you ever taken a course or classes to help you learn witchcraft? What were your experiences? If you haven't, what are your thoughts and feelings on such courses? Okay, so I feel like my response is probably going to be fairly short because I don't have a lot of experience in this area. Uh, the only courses that I have taken that I would call um, courses in the craft, broadly speaking, are some of Benabel Wen's independent study courses, and I'll link below to Benabel's website where those courses are detailed. So I have purchased and completed her course called Tarot as a Tool for Craft, which looks at different ways of working with tarot in a um, magical practice, we'll say, broadly speaking. Uh, so the course does talk about and look at divination, but also looks at areas like uh, working with the cards to communicate with ancestors, um, working with the cards to communicate with celestial contacts, uh, for summoning, and, and so on. So there's a lot of other um, approaches than divination uh, in this course. And I have also purchased, but I have not completed, but I very much plan to, um, her course in astrology. So it's a beginner course in astrology focusing on um, natal astrology, so reading birth charts, and some transit astrology as well. Um, this is a very long-term project for me. Um, you know, there's a lot in this course, um, multiple workbooks and lots of activities and side reading. And I'm somebody with a course like this that's self-directed that wants to chase all the tangents. You know, when something's mentioned that I maybe am unfamiliar with or haven't heard of before, um, or, you know, want wanting to understand more fully, even if it's not necessary to understand it fully to get through the course, I want to go off and read more um, you know, on that topic. So it's something that I'm working through very, very slowly. And so my experiences with those courses, I would say very much positive. Based on my experience with them, I am interested in purchasing and working through more of the courses that Benabel offers. I'm very much interested in one called Tarot Occultism and Modern Witchcraft. I have not uh, purchased that material yet, but I can safely say that, you know, as long as it continues to be offered, I, I will um, at some point. And, you know, my thoughts on this are, I suppose, not that different than, than my thoughts on um, courses in general. Uh, for folks who don't know, I do work in education. I am a university instructor. Um, and I think that different courses are going to work for different people right? Um, I have taught both larger lectures and very small seminars, um, you know, first year university courses up to fourth year university courses. And these call for different um, pedagogical approaches, you know, when you have different um, degrees of expertise among the students and different numbers of people in a room. Um, and I've done a little bit of online teaching as well. So Inevitably, you know, these are things that um, are going to work differently for different people because people learn in different ways, right? Learners are diverse. And so I think when it comes to having a course in something like um, witchcraft or magic or any kind of topic therein, the same kinds of considerations apply, right? So for me, um, working through, through Ben and Bell's courses that I had mentioned, I know that the approach of independent study with a syllabus and reading materials works for me. It works for me as a learner and it also fits well into my life, which has a messy schedule to say the least. Um, you know, being able to work on my own time and to learn at my own pace and to chase all the tangents I want to chase without getting behind, you know, that, that really works for me. Uh, but I know a lot of folks who, you know, regardless of the topic and regardless of how interested they are, 
um, would never finish a course like this, right? Would get um, either bored of it or would want um, more engagement in terms of, you know, having other learners or a teacher to talk to, you know, throughout that process, um, you know, who absent that don't connect with the material as well. And, and none of these, you know, ways of learning or ways of um, conveying concepts on a teacher's part are like better or worse or right or wrong necessarily. Uh, but I do think in terms of looking for a course, right, if you're interested in having something like a course or a class on any topic, that it's helpful to know how you best learn and to be able to look at, you know, hopefully any course being offered, you know, before you sign up for it, you get a good description of what the teaching strategies are, are going to be about, you know, the, the level of, for example, demand on your time that's going to be involved, the amount of reading that's going to be involved. Are there audiovisual uh, materials, videos or, or um, audio lectures or things like that? And are those, um, you know, tools that you feel are conducive to you learning or are they not, right? And these are this has really ultimately nothing to do with this question about courses on witchcraft. It really has to just do with courses in general that I think knowing, um, you know, your learning style is really um, important. And no, that is a large part of whether a course is going to work for you. Um, there is then, of course, also the consideration of the content. So again, you know, to take the example of Benabel's Tarot is a Tool for Craft course, which, I, which is a, a very a, a shorter course. Um, you know, which I did complete and there's a, um, you know, kind of a workbook and, and a lecture, a video style lecture that goes with that. With a course like that, that covers all of these different areas of ways that tarot might be a tool for craft, inevitably, some of those don't resonate with me, right? So some of those are not, at least not at this point, going to be incorporated into my practice in any way. Uh, but that in no way meant I wasn't interested in learning about them, you know, or that I might not um, want to go and learn more about them in the future. So, you know, whenever I'm taking a, a course on, on, well, on any topic, but on something like the craft or on something like spirituality of, of some sort, I can understand that not everything is necessarily going to work 100% for me and be okay with that, um, you know different people have different approaches to their practice and different, um, you know, views of, of the world and how the world works and the entities that make it up. And I don't need to have, you know, 100% consensus with a teacher to, to learn something, right? Um, and I think it's an, this is a really interesting question for this 31 Days of Witchcraft because it asks what your thoughts and feelings are about, um, you know, having a course or a class on an aspect of, of witchcraft, whether you've taken such a course or not. And I feel like it's really difficult to have, at least for me, it's very difficult for me to have thoughts and feelings about something that I've never done. <laughs> so, you know, in my mind, a course on any aspect of magic or witchcraft in person say which which again i've never taken could be fantastic or could be fucking terrible <laughs> and i'm sure that both exist um i have no experience with either one so i don't have that much to say um about about that i guess um this was like a way longer ramble than i expected um, hopefully it made some kind of sense. <laughs> I'm interested to see, of course, what others have said in response to this question. If you are making videos, I look forward to hearing what you have to say. And if you don't make videos, please feel free to share in the comments if you've ever taken a course um, or a class on anything witchcraft or craft related. And if you had any experiences with that that you would like to share, I would love to have that chat with you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you tomorrow for day six.